Hello there Lantern fans and welcome back to another Bay 12 video review and today we are reviewing the Blackest Night Wave featuring the Atrocitus Build-A-Figure and the first ever Red Lantern figure produced by McFarlane Toys under the DC Multiverse brand. It's also the first of the Black Lantern figures that we've ever gotten and I I think, and I'm pretty sure that this is also the first Kyle Rayner figure that DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys has produced as well. So a lot of firsts in this wave. Um, and a lot of awesome figures in this wave. And we are getting more characters from Blackest Night. Um, of course, we've had a number of other Green Lantern figures, mostly Jon Stewart. But we are getting Necron as one of the big figures coming out very, very soon. So can't wait for that as well but we finally got a hold of the atrocitus wave the atrocitus wave looks great i can't wait to get atrocitus built and i can't wait for more lantern awesomeness to come from dc multiverse i mean now todd's done a lot of awesome batman a lot of awesome justice league stories and finally he's gotten to not only a really great lantern story but arguably one of the greatest lantern stories definitely one of the biggest lantern events of all time that just like kind of swallowed up everybody so really really cool we're going to start off here with kyle in his monster energy green because of course he's a kyle he's gotta he's gotta be uh in monster energy green right so here's kyle rayner arguably one of the greatest lanterns of all time um some would say uh hal jordan's the greatest green lantern of all time some would say John Stewart is the greatest Green Lantern of all time. I don't think anybody would ever say uh, Guy Gardner is the greatest Green Lantern of all time. But some, like myself, would argue that Kyle Rayner is the greatest Green Lantern of all time. I think he's the best one of, of the three. Uh, he's definitely the most um, imaginative when it comes to constructs. And... Uh, that kind of comes from his background because he worked in comic books in the comics, which is really cool. So, of course, he's going to be pretty imaginative. And, and that's kind of why I think um, Kyle it, excels so well in the Lantern Corps and has such powerful constructs and has, you know, become a platinum lantern before, you know, because, well, he's very imaginative. And to be a lantern, I would think to be successful, you would... Aside from having just strong will as a Green Lantern, you'd have to be pretty imaginative and uh, pretty mentally flexible when it comes to your constructs. Because, I mean, you can imagine, of course, the strongest thing ever and just say, oh, yeah, I'm just going to construct, you know, the, the, hardest, the hardest material in the universe. But, you know, s some enemy could just shatter through it if you're just thinking it's the strongest weather rather than willing it to be the strongest. And, and I think that's really where uh, Kyle kind of shines, is because he's able to do both. So, yeah, that, that's just me. And anyway, here you go. Here's Kyle. He's awesome. He looks great in the packaging. His sword kind of fell into uh, the box there. But it's... There we, oh, hey, we, <laughs> we got it back into place. Look at that. Um, you've got Atrocitus's torso there. You've got the uh, Blackest Night logo there on the front. On the back, you've got... Um, the artwork for Atrocitus, and I love that he's got the the, the blood that he usually vomits out, um, just kind of shooting out of his mouth there in that artwork. I think that looks really, really cool. Um, and then you've got the rest of the wave down there on the bottom, and that's pretty much it for the packaging. Now on to Kyle. And as always, he does, of course come with a data file card like every DC Multiverse figure does and that's where the artwork for Kyle is and I love that they use some comic art here rather than toy art I'm, gl I'm glad that uh, McFarlane's getting back to um, the uh, the toy I mean the comic or actual artist art versus um, comic art there and, it, and what's really cool on this background here is you got a couple of other lanterns you got one of the blue lanterns to his right you got i think one of the violet lanterns also to his right and then what looks like larflees of the orange lantern core um right there to his left behind him 
So right there, there you go. There's some words and things. <clears throat> Real name Kyle Rayner. After how Jordan succumbs to the influence of Parallax and the Green Lantern Corps crumbles, the Guardians, the Guardian Ganthet travels to Earth and bestows the final Green Lantern power ring to artist Kyle Rayner. Rather than protecting just Earth and space sector 2814, it's now Kyle's responsibility to guard the entire universe as the sole Green Lantern until the Guardians and the Corps return. During the blackest night, an army of Black Lanterns attack the Guardian's homeworld of Oa, where many of the Green Lanterns also reside, including Kyle Rayner. Looking to defend the planet, Kyle flies into action with other Lanterns by his side. Which was kind of the other cool thing about Blackest Night was you had a bunch of different Lantern Corps that are traditionally enemies and constantly fighting each other, uh, teaming up to stop the Black Lanterns who were quickly quickly growing in number because it is the lantern core of death which was very metal anyway here is kyle he looks great and i love how they mentioned how parallax how which we did review here on bay 12 so if you haven't watched that go back and watch that review we did review that when it was a gold label walmart exclusive and right out of the box he's already in an awesome pose I really don't want to mess with his art, his articulation at all because I don't want to take him out of this pose. I like that he's in a brighter green color than some of the earlier lantern figures that we've gotten in this line. Um, he does have the molded lantern ring there on his right hand, as he should. And it is in a fist-like gesture. He doesn't come with any swappable hands, so the sword construct he comes with, you're going to have to put it in his left hand there. And even, man, that looks awesome, too. I don't want to mess with the articulation. Sorry, come back next time for articulation. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Heads on a ball joint. Fully articulated shoulders. That could, <laughs> that could have been disastrous for him. Uh, fully articulated shoulders there. Butterfly joints as well. Uh, upper bicep. Double jointed elbows. Wrist joints. Upper, upper waist, lower waist, hips, double jointed knees, ankle joints, and toe joints. He also comes with a lantern battery. I don't know why it's uh, translucent green, like a construct effect. Uh, it's weird that they didn't do a solid green lantern battery for him. It is a very unique looking lantern battery, however. It's not a very traditional looking green lantern lantern battery, I don't think. Looks cool. But again, I, I feel like this one should have been a more solid green color, not so much uh, translucent plastic. It, definitely not the same uh, plastic color that they went with for the actual construct here, because lantern batteries aren't constructs, they're physical batteries that he needs to plug his ring into and say the oath with. So there you go. All right, I'm not going to be able to stand him up over here to the side in that awesome pose. So we're just going to, you know, stand him up and then set him over here to the side while we do the next figure. Hey, stand. There we go. And, uh, of course, he also comes with the torso for the Atrocitus Build-A-Figure. And that looks good. It's a good-looking good looking figure so far. We haven't even assembled anything. So, uh, we'll do that soon. All right, next up. We'll just go ahead and grab the next one in the line. And it is Black Lantern Superman. Oh, man. Oh, man. Black Lanterns are awesome. And I'm so glad that um, that we went ahead and got uh, three to start with. Um, I think it would have been cool if, if Todd had spread it out a little bit, though. And we got Kyle, a Black Lantern, a Blue Lantern, um, Red Lantern was the bath, so maybe a Yellow Lantern or Violet Lantern or Larflees. Um, I think that would have been really, really, or an Indigo Tribe Lantern. Um, I think that would have been really cool rather than Green Lantern, Red Lantern bath, and three Black Lantern figures to fill out the wave. Um, I'm sure we'll get a lot more other Lanterns at some point, but still, that's that's all I'm, I'm just saying. That would have been cool too. Not that I'm complaining. This This wave is great. Thank you. Thank you, Todd Father. Hey, 
no time to rest. Here he is in the box, uh, pretty much the same packaging as uh, Kyle. They're all going to be very similar packaging-wise, other than saying the name of the character on, on somewhere else on the box and showcasing which bath pieces it comes with, uh, as well as the art on the back. So um, not really different packaging-wise. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about all the different packages and all the different names. Um, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about it at this point, just because they're not really that different. But you know what is different? Those data file cards. So we will get into that. So Black Lantern, Superman. Real name, kal -El, or Clark Kent. Sent to Earth from a dying planet of Krypton as a baby, kal -El was found by farmers Martha and Jonathan Kent. Why did I say that name? And raised as their son, Clark. As Clark grew up, the radiation from the Earth's yellow sun gave him enhanced senses and extraordinary powers. Once fully grown, he used his powers to protect his adopted world as Superman. We all know that story, right? After his death in Infinite Crisis, the Superman of Earth-2, or Earth-2, it's either Earth-2 or Earth-2, it's Dash-2, Earth-2, Dash is revived by a Black Lantern ring and attacks the Superman of Earth-1 and Superboy Connor Kent in Smallville. So, yeah, that's kind of the thing with the Black Lanterns. Um, again, they're the Lantern Corps of Death. So, when someone dies, uh, the Black Hand or Necron just kind of send a little black power ring their way, and they're reanimated. They have all of their powers that they had before, plus the power of the Black Lantern ring. Now, a uh, little strange, he doesn't have the Black Lantern ring molded on his hands at all, so that's uh, a little weird. I, I wonder why that isn't on there, because um, he definitely should have a ring. I'm pretty sure he has a ring in the, in the comic. I love the tattered cape. I love how it's just all like shredded and it's all in uh, different ribbons. Some of them are joined together, but not completely. As you can see, they're partially torn up into the middle and they flow off of his Superman crest there, which really, really cool. Um, head is on a ball joint, fully articulated shoulders, upper bicep, double jointed elbows, wrists, upper waist, lower waist, hips, double jointed knees, ankle joints, and that, excuse me, and that toe pivoting joint. I, I love, love the silver on the suit. Really, really offsets the black well. I also love, you know, like kind of like the, the thin and tissue paper like skin in some spots and the torn, almost torn looking skin spots. Um, the, the decomposed face sculpt looks really, really good. Um, yeah, that decomposed face sculpt looks really good. You, you, they even painted in the rotting teeth, man. I mean, they just nailed it. Nailed it on, on so many, many awesome details there. Um, but there you go. There he is. We'll go ahead and grab our Atrocitus legs here. He comes with both legs for Atrocitus. go ahead and put those on our atrocitus torso there and this look 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 how big those legs are look how big those are those those are almost up to shoulder length they're they're just right at elbow length of soups there crazy so you just take this and you just plug it directly in until you hear that click there you go And, uh, yeah, he only comes up to uh, armpit armpit height on Atrocitus. That's, wow, Atrocitus is going to be a big boy. Very nice. Okay. Set Atrocitus aside and move on down. Next up, we've got Deathstorm, the undead Black Lantern version of Firestorm. 
pretty awesome. Again, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on the box because it's exactly the same, just with, you know, Death Storm written on it instead of uh, Superman or Kyle Rayner. So there we go. Here's our data file card with some awesome Death Storm artwork there. We got some words and things. <clears throat> Real name. Ronald Raymond or Ronnie the result of deceased of the deceased firestorm being taken host by a black lantern ring death storm joined the ranks of the undead black lanterns set on destroying all life as we know it throughout the universe as a key threat in blackest night death storm is part of the siege on earth to defend the black lantern battery and tasked with fighting the remaining members of the justice league so here he is, and that flame effect on the head sculpt, man, very, very impressive, translucent black plastic, it's almost like, um, it's almost like a purplish plastic really, but it, it looks translucent, it looks awesome, the, the shoulder pauldrons look off look really great i love how they just point out and it almost looks like they kind of have the texture of bone to them which is is another nice touch um he does unlike soups here he does have the black lantern ring molded on his hand right there and they even do have the black lantern ring insignia it's very very small but that is molded on the face of the ring so if you look closely or for those of you who May have trouble seeing very small details like that um, get like a magnifying glass or something you can definitely see it. I love the the long talon like fingers on this guy he is fully articulated head is on a ball joint fully articulated shoulders of course those those shoulder pads there can it um, hinder articulation a little bit there um, you've got those inner socket joints there upper bicep double jointed elbows wrists upper waist lower waist hips nothing at the thigh double jointed knees ankle joint and that toe pivoting joint and that's pretty much it for firestorm's articulation and he comes with a silver battery for his black lantern ring which uh in the comics i believe they were black if i if memory serves me correctly it's been a long time since i read blackest night may this with as awesome as these figures are i'm really thinking about picking that up and reading it again um but yeah i feel like the lantern was black in the comics not silver i have to double check on that someone comment in the in the comments if you remember for sure and then he comes with two atrocitus build a figure parts he comes with the uh shoulder pads an upper torso piece and the head of atrocitus we'll go ahead and uh actually you know what i'm gonna wait to add the the shoulder pad and stuff until we put the arms on i'd rather put the arms on first before i put on this so we'll, we'll do that in a moment stand by all right last but not least undead batman save the best for last because batman's just you know the coolest and an undead Batman, even cooler. So here he is. There he is in the box. Again, not really going to be covering the box so much. It's the same, but it says Batman on it. <clears throat> he does also come with a data file card with some awesome artwork there with the undead Batman on it. There you go. Real name, Bruce Wayne. As a child, Bruce Wayne watched as his parents were brutally killed in Gotham City's crime alley. We've heard this story before. Uh, traumatized by their death, he became a weapon against crime. He's the Batman. Okay. During the Blackest Night, the Black Hand uses his power to over the Black Lantern rings to raise the dead and unleash his army of Black Lanterns on the universe. Among those resurrected is Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, who had recently been killed by Darkseid. So, there you go. He comes with the arms of Atrocitus.
And of the Black Lanterns here has the least black on the figure. Because uh, for the cowl and cape and stuff, they went with a dark blue color. Weird. Um, however, unlike Soups, he does have a Black Lantern ring molded on his finger here, on his lantern hand. And I like how his hands are in like that, like kind of savage looking claw grasping like position and kind of get some very like zombie looking poses out of him especially with that awesome facial expression where his just jaws just hanging open like that he's gonna catch some flies he's definitely attracting flies because the dude's been rotting for a while got that awesome black lantern crest right there over top the bat symbol pouches and things other awesome black lantern aesthetics on the suit head is on a ball joint fully articulated shoulders upper bicep double jointed elbows wrist joints upper waist lower waist hips double jointed knees ankle joints toe joint and that's pretty much it I love uh, all the different spikes on his suit. You know, he's got his little spikes there on his forearm, but he also has them on his calf, which that's pretty cool. I like all the little flared out bits on the cape. I wish it was a little bit more torn up, kind of like Soup's over here, um, but hey, still cool. And I like the little shouldery bits uh, that are flaring up at the, at the top of the shoulder, kind of like with the Thomas Wayne bat suit. Now, he doesn't really come with any accessories, but he's still a really, really awesome looking figure. Definitely my favorite figure in the whole wave, and I am biased. I really like Batman. Sue me, but don't actually. I spend all my money on toys. You're not going to get anything out of me. I'm sorry. All right, and here we have Atrocitus's arms that came with Batman. We're going to go ahead and put those on before we put on the rest. So ball joint, you're just going to stick it right in there until you hear the click. And there you go. Oh, yeah, this is it's all coming together. We're going to go ahead and put on that uh, torso piece first. You got some tabs right there. Slot in right there. Oh yeah, and then that head just pops on right there on that ball joint. That went on a little bit smoother. I expected a more prominent snap than I got, but hey, I'll take it. Oh man, that's cool. That's really cool. That is an awesome, awesome build a figure. He keeps doing really great build a figures too. That that's the other thing that that Todd keeps getting us with is. Even if there's a figure or two in the wave, you might not be crazy about the build a figure is usually pretty on point. And this one is definitely one of those. I mean, for their for, for his first Atrocitus figure, he did such an awesome job. And you got that red lantern ring with the red lantern crest on his finger. And hey, get back in there. You got the crest right there on the chest. You've got all the red lantern spots all over his suit here, plus an aw awesomely textured suit. This figure is fully articulated, head is on a ball joint, fully articulated shoulders. You're going to be knocking that off every so often, but luckily it clicks back into place really easily. And those socket shoulder joints. Upper bicep, double jointed elbows, wrist joints, upper waist, lower waist, hips double jointed knees, ankle joints, and toe joints. Another really sweet figure and a, a great way to finish off this wave. A really, really great way to finish off this wave. Again, we need other lanterns. Um, I'm glad we finally started branching out into more than just Green Lantern Corps with the, <coughs> with the DC Multiverse line because we just kept getting more and more Green Lanterns. And don't get me wrong, they're awesome, but I'm, I'm glad that they're finally branching out into more. Um, but we need more Sinestro Corps, because that's, you know, 
best one. Sorry, it just is. But name your favorite Lantern Corps in the comments. There's a lot of them. So just let us know which, which Lantern Corps is your favorite. Let us know in the comments of this video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video where we reviewed the Blackest Night Wave featuring the Atrocitus Build-A-Figure here. Stay tuned for more video reviews, more Lantern reviews, and more DC Multiverse reviews, of course, because we do all kinds of DC Multiverse reviews. We do all kinds of reviews in general here on Bay 12, but stay tuned for other stuff. Like and subscribe, follow us on social media. Check out our Bay 12 Facebook page for all of our Bay 12 live sales. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. And beware my power, Sinestro's might. <laughs>